Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. This is season four with the Tektite, the Class C crystal ship, and we're dashing onwards. I like our weapons. I like our chances. We are going to intervene to defend the outpost. Why? Because no, do we have an important mission? We are heroes. Beam drone, probably maybe a fire beam drone. Beam drone, beam weapon. All right. Well, we'll be saving our guns on, th uh, saving our missiles on this one. This is going to be good to be a case of waiting. So this is going to be a slightly tedious little fight because it simply matters when might I miss or not because we are going to win because they can't get through my shields. What fun! I'll have a sip of water. Firing crunch. As you laser your little lasery way, it's a nice little plan. The slightly hex shading you get here on the uh, thing. Oh, guns are ready. Destroy this. Thank you. That um, buzzy noise is annoying. Let's uh, quieten that down. I'm not going to fire the swarm missiles. I know it's full and ready, but there's just absolutely no point. Firing! Thump. Final shot to finish the guys off. Let's take out his engines. Buzz, buzz. Yes, you can buzz all you like, mate. I've got at least one point of shields, and you're rigged for double laser. Thump. Well, that was a nice, easy fight for some cheap scrap. We got nine points of scrap, a missile, and a drone. Hackpost gave us a little bit more scrap, missile, and some fuel. So, okay, we're doing reasonably well. There's another store at only 39 scrap. There is little to no validation of heading down to there. So let's go and see what encounter we can find here. Put our rival to the screen. Let's with warnings. Pirates of hacking tools. Shut down your engines. All right, we've only got one point in engines in the first place. Continue. Okay, so you've got a missile launcher and one of those. I am going to pretty much employ the same tactics I did last time. Fire on there and then cluster up my swarm missiles for a lot of damage. It's a double firing laser, I think. This might sting just a bit. Missile, please don't hit my shields. Missing is amusing. Ouch. Alright, it's a point on the engine. I can deal with that. Got one of their guns down. Would have preferred it if it had been the missile. Are we going to get 10% chance, chance? Lucky? No, we're not. Are crystal people immune to fire? Crystal people are not immune to fire. Um, get out of there. Huh, okay, let's um, fire that off before we lose the ability to. And now that while we wait for the guns to go down, you can get out of there. So we're a sitting duck for a bit. It's basically right now a race to see who can repair their who can repair their equipment faster. I'm hoping it's going to be me. Thump thump. Thump, 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 thump. One well, of the annoying things about having a clone bay is, yes, when you lose a crew member, they come back. The answer is, they got their equipment working faster. Is that, um... <laughs> when people die... <laughs> um... Would have liked that been just a little bit earlier. Ouch, O2 is something I have to immediately respond to, is that when people die, you get them back. But the other problem is that you can't stop them from dying. This has been quite a costly fight. Yes, I know my hull's down to 20%. Finish him off, please. Thank you. Um, yay, scrap and fuel. Um, part of the problem is you can't just heal people. You just have to sit there and wait. I mean, you do get, I think it's a little bit of health back. Let's have a look. Cloning bay. Yeah, part you get a little bit of health, eight health points back per jump. So it's not worthless, but it is just a little bit annoying. Because ideally what you'd like to be doing is ka thunking, ka banging, ka banging, ka thunking, ka thunking, ka banging, ka banging, ka thunking. Um ideally what you'd like to be doing is just having them constantly heal. Now it does mean having a cloning bay, if I do end up bashing into a event that kills one of my dudes. I will be able to um, recover said person and not have to worry about it so much. But yes, Lombard, Mort, and Phillips. More pirates. Hmm. I am in no interest to help pirates. So we've got Ion Stunner. So over that hits your shield thing. Also, it stuns whoever is in the room at the same time. And a scrap cannon. Abysmal accuracy, but still do they do a fair amount of damage, so let's focus on the guns. It's lovely having a basic pierce weapon, because at this point where I can just save my missiles for big bursts and just crush. Uh, scrap firing. And just crush the guns like that. Um, I don't have to worry about targeting shields in the first volley. Um, let's see how this goes. You've only got the stun thing down, but... Both your guns are down, I am going to save my missiles. 
Just keep firing on that for now, please. I'm going to hoard them for when I desperately need them later. Come on, kill them! Kill them faster. Thank you. Um, can I wait for the amount of seconds it does to get this done? Yes, yes, I can. Seconds ticking. Weapons charging. Weapons firing! When I push the button. Fine. For missing, you get a missile. That was nearly very embarrassing with the triple shot miss there. So we got two missiles, one fuel, and 13 scrap. And then we got more fuel during parts and a little bit of scrap from the uh, little planet. Okay, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I've been the Marmoset. This has been a five minute burst of FTL. The Tektite marches on, though we've taken a little bit of a beating. We now have an amount of scrap we could possibly go shopping with. Please remember to like and subscribe for more of Season 4 of FTL.